Hi there everyone welcome to YouTube I hope you guys are doing absolutely great so today we will learn about the remote development using VS code so remote development basically means that uh, you are just writing a code directly on the server instead of writing a code uh, on your local computer so like this has a certain advantages like that uh, if you don't have a powerful computer on your local system you can just set up a powerful system or a say virtual machine and on any server platform like AWS or DigitalOcean or, or wherever it suits you and uh, then you can directly write the code on your server so we'll see like uh, basically it is done using through SSH but since uh, using SSH it's very hard to write the code on the terminal so VS code helps here us uh, by giving us a plugin called the remote SSH so we will just learn that, that uh, how can we connect to that software using uh, VS code so what we need to do basically is like we need to go to extensions panel in VS code and search here for a plugin called remote SSH and uh, you can see this plugin and uh, this plugin is provided by the microsoft you just need to install this plugin here and once you install this plugin uh, you will see uh, this icon uh, here on your vs code so uh, like uh, here you need to add your ssh targets uh, i have like already lots of ssh targets here so you can click on a plus icon here and now here you need to write your ssh command so if you are connected uh, connecting using a root uh, or a password like plain password so you can write simply like ssh uh, your username let's say you have a username of a root at the rate and then specify the ip of your uh, remote target so but if you are connecting using a private or uh, let's say private key then you need to specify the private key here so we can use the ssh command ssh dash i means use the identity file and i'll just paste the path of our identity file so what you can do is like you can keep the your identity file or your private file uh, inside uh, inside the c folder where we have ssh configuration usually inside the users c users uh, or like whatever your os directory is inside your username there's a folder called ssh and you can uh, you can just put your key here and then you can give this relative path and after that you need to write your command whatever the username uh, you have with your ssh and uh, username and then your ip address so i'll just paste my ip address so i have a virtual machine set up on aws i'm just connecting to that so yeah you can hit enter so like if you're connecting using a uh, password you just enter your username and your ip and then it will ask for your password i'll just click enter and then you need to select a configuration file this is basically where your all ssh configurations are stored so you can just select this one and uh, host edit now you can go uh, here you will see a uh, list is added here you can right click and connect to host in current window so yeah you can just connect to this uh, it will just process you see it is connected so if you are connecting uh, for the first time it will ask you for the operating system on a remote directory so you can select uh, whatever the operating system is on your remote directory for uh, in my case it is linux so I, i'll have to select linux but uh, since i am using this uh, terminal again so i don't need to select again so now you see now this vs code is not working locally on your system this is actually your is your remote computer so if you click on an open folder you will see the list of files that are available at your uh, remote computer so i'll just select this uh, one quiz uh, folder i have on my remote computer and you will see the that like all the files of my server are listed here so now whatever i can do locally i can do it on a server this is really very useful like if you want to add any configuration or anything to your code you can do it here and like for example you can see i have this index html file here and like now i can run any command on the server for example i want to start this uh, code on the server so i can run uh, node uh, and then like uh, your command whatever uh, you want to run like for example node uh, i want to start this application so i can write node index.js uh, now you can like uh, use all the features of a vs code which are available at your local and if your uh, server is powerful enough it has a lot of uh, resources like ram then you can do pretty much everything uh, on the remote computer so this also allows you the port forwarding so like if you have any uh, basically service running on your uh, remote ip address 
then you can uh, forward it uh, to your local host using the ports option here so like once you have any service running on your uh, server computer you can just uh, see the list of all the services running and click on a forward port then you can access any service uh, using a local host uh, or whatever the port you have forwarded to on your local system so since this is a production server so i'm, I'm not just playing around with it but uh, you can do pretty much everything whatever you can do uh, like you can have uh, remote debugging or whatever features you want to access of vs code you can have access but make sure that you have enough resources on your uh, remote server uh, so yeah this was it for the remote development uh, i hope you like the video and if you like the video please hit the like button and uh, share the video with the others uh, and subscribe to the channel thank you and see you soon